Welcome back everyone to Pokemon News of the Week. Here are tonight's headlines and there's a lot of stuff to talk about. First off, we're going to talk about a few new trademarks that have just come out. First off is Terrestrial Festival. This is highly likely to be the high class pack for 2024, similar to how VMAX Climax ended the VMAX cards. So I'm guessing that basically the Terrestrial cards are going to be phased out after this set. But probably there's going to be a lot of art rares and super art rares in this set because the VMAX Climax set had a lot of them. But the second trademark that's actually a little bit bigger is the glory of Team Rocket. So you can see the Japanese name on the screen here. And this is crazy cool because we haven't seen any Team Rocket cards for many, many years. And what this means is possibly the return of Dark Pokemon or even the possibility of Rocket's Pokemon. I mean, we have no idea at this point. We've had Radiant cards before, so it wouldn't surprise me to go back to a different variant or a different type like Dark Pokemon. And we have also seen this picture circulating around the internet, but at the moment, we don't know what's true and what's not. And it's interesting because right now it's all speculation, but we know the trademark are out there so they're definitely sets that are coming out but what this might mean is that the Pokemon XY Legends game that's basically coming out next year might not be coming out in February like a lot of people are expecting it might be coming out later in the year and this is because if it were then they would have a set specifically to that coming out at that time so who knows maybe that game's actually coming out a lot later than we think but the release dates for sets that are coming up first off Stellar Miracle is coming on July 19th so that is next month there is also Paradise Dragona coming out on September 13th apparently this that's going to be a lot like the Eevee Heroes where there's going to be a lot of super art res and alternate arts so fingers crossed it is a big and beautiful set. There's also the Supercharged Breaker which is going to be releasing on October 18th so I'm guessing because we haven't got a date for it that Terrestrial Festival will come out on December 6th because it's a Friday and it's the beginning of December and then maybe Team Rocket set is going to be coming out in January 2025 maybe January 24th because that kind of lines up with how this year's sets have gone. Regardless, these are two great announcements and I am very, very excited to see what they do with them. Now, as you know, the Night Wanderer set release here in Japan and I have had some awful luck with Monkey Dory. I've pulled two of this super rare so far and I'm a little sad, unfortunately. I kind of want to get some better cards. But regardless, the art rares are fantastic and we have seen a couple of art rares that we hadn't seen at this point. I pulled two of them already. I pulled the Cuffant and I pulled the Chrysalia and those cards really are beautiful. I actually pulled a Persian card that I didn't realize was in this set. So there's a lot of hidden stuff and that's what's great about these sets not releasing in the West early. Basically, people can find out what cards are coming out on release day and not having it spoiled for them. But this set, honestly, I don't think it is really worth it for the value. The resale prices, as you can see on the screen, are not good. Like the most expensive card is the Cassiopeia card. And yeah, it doesn't really seem worth it, even getting like sealed pieces. The Cassiopeia card's kind of cool, but just not really much money. But my biggest beef with this set, where is the Kingdra Super Art Rare? I mean, we have the Kingdra EX card, we have the Kingdra Super Rare EX card, but no Super Art Rare? I mean, come on, this is the set it should be in. So my guess now is it's gonna come out in Terrestrial Festival at the end of the year. But my advice for this set is probably it's better just to buy singles. If you're trying to get the cards, just go out and buy the singles. Packs are always fun to open, but Maybe singles is the wave with this one. Next up, we have the announcement in the West for the Terra Brawlers Premium Collection. This looks pretty cool and it has some packs inside of it. I believe that there are nine packs. There's also a code card and there are five rare holofoil cards. And what's cool as well is that the Greedent and the Dragonite, these were actually in decks before. But like you can see that Charizard's very powerful. The Dedenne's in there as well as the Skeledurge. So this is a pretty cool set. It's gonna be retailing at $69.99 and coming out on August 16th. So stay tuned and see if you can get your hands on this. We also got the announcement for the Pokemon trading card game holiday calendar for this year and this looks pretty cool i'm always happy to see these i've never had one myself i've always wanted to get one but these are fantastic and what a great advent calendar they're retailing at 49.99 in the us and they come out on august 23rd but it comes with lots of cool stuff including booster packs little three card fun packs there's some coins there's some stickers there's also a little dangler thing with like chen pao there's all kinds of stuff in here so again what a great way to celebrate the holidays kind of thinking ahead and i can't believe that people are already thinking about christmas oh no and we also got the announcement of some EX Deluxe Battle Decks. These are pretty cool for Coraidon and Miraidon. These are going to be coming out on August 23rd also. They're going to be retailing at $19.99 each, which is a little bit more expensive than the EX Battle Decks we got before. The difference is the old ones were level 1. These are level 2, so they have much higher level cards in them. So it's pretty cool. Each one has a coin and each one has a full pre-built deck. So yeah, if you're looking to play the game and build out your decks, this is probably one of the best ways to get into it, maybe? Up to you.
Of course it's up to you. And my final bit of information today, not really news. I went to USJ the other week. I finally went to the Super Nintendo World. It was super fun, a great day out. But USJ still has lots of Pokemon exclusive items. For example, there was this little shop here that was selling some food and I bought the Pikachu pizza bun. This is very tasty, but I do feel quite guilty biting into Pikachu's butt. Regardless, I thought this is pretty cool, so I just wanted to share it. And my card of the week this week is gonna be the Cresselia card from the Night Wanderer set. And like I say, a lot of the cards in this set are not that great, but this Cresselia really threw me off. I was so shocked at how pretty this is, and it is just so elegant. I love this design, it is simple, and it's just so pretty. So this is my card of the week. So that's everything for my Pokemon news this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give us a like, please subscribe. I wasn't actually planning to do a Pokemon news this week. I'm actually heading off to Tokyo right now for one day. So I didn't think that I'd get around to filming anything. But if more news comes out next week, I will put another video up on the channel. So I will see you then for more Pokemon news of the week.